I'm Thurston County Commissioner Kathy Wolf. I'm Thurston County Commissioner Karen Valenzuela. I am the greatest local official in the history of planet Earth, Thurston County Commissioner Sandra Romero. I'm Thurston County Manager Don Corrupt. All right, there is no reason to freak out. The moment of truth is almost here and all we have to do is keep it together. Don, it's officially time to freak out. Didn't you hear the moment of truth in there? Fish and Wildlife is backing off from its recommendation for the gopher. Didn't you hear that letter from Key McMurray? I couldn't believe my ears. After all we've done for those consultants. We've given them all the business they can handle and now they're turning their backs on us. All they have to do is say the science is on our side, that's their job. Who cares what the science says? Don't they know we're trying to save the earth? Oh I know. Those property rights people talk a lot. I still don't understand why they are all so mad. What's wrong with government using your land if they feel like it? Maybe next time we can let the people speak for only one minute instead of two or three? Don, can we start having public hearings at two in the afternoon? If I thought we could have gotten away with it, I would have scheduled the hearing for two in the morning and had Andrew Duffobist receive the public's comments. Don't worry, Sandra. Half those Stop Thurston County supporters didn't even get inside the hearing. No one in the rooms outside the hearing saw how stressed out you were, or Kathy sleeping. I told the tech guy to make sure the cables were only screwed in halfway on the video equipment. Cliff Moore did a great job disputing Donna Baker and Brandel Bryant's situations. No he didn't. He said they weren't true, and then explained why they were true. Right, that's his talent. Deny everything then manipulate the truth until no one is listening. That way we can stick to our story without lying. Cliff sucked. And where was the rest of our team? Debbie Jockwall wasn't there. Where was Stu Henderson? My assistant Lisa found a new job. She's a smart girl. She knows we're all going down. We were down to the useful idiots because the smart people are getting out of the way. Ed Stanley and Joan Cathy showed up. They don't care about the science. They care about the Earth and their friends. Joan Cathy showed up for a meeting? Fascinating. I haven't seen her off a golf course since the Economic Development Council's chili cook-off in 2008. Joan has had a lot of time on her hands since she lost her job at the YWCA. She taught me all about quantum theology. Jones says that our duty to government is set above our duty to God. That's why I don't say under God when I give the Pledge of Allegiance. I don't really have allegiance for America anyway. Joan and Ed both are going to have a lot more time on their hands if they get caught up in this mess. They have their own elections to worry about. Bottom line is we successfully rigged that hearing so I can say my perception was an even split in support for the ordinance and an Olympian reporter saw the same thing. That's our story and we were sticking to it. We've got a tough news week coming up. Word of the governor's lack of support for Karen's new flood authority is going to hit the paper, and who knows when state fish and wildlife will come out with a new recommendation. Those rotten consultants. How could they do this to us? Screw the consultants. How could Governor Gregoire do this to us? Isn't she the one always talking about creative destruction? I know, she's been such a hypocrite ever since she started kissing butt to President Obama. We've got a better chance of getting a job in his cabinet than she does. We don't just talk about creative destruction, we do it. That's what the Critical Areas Ordinance is all about. We'll destroy the Hicks rural polluting lifestyle with their septic tanks and trailers so we can protect and preserve the precious ecosystem from them. Then, when they all move into town, our friends' real estate investments will go up in value, meaning a never-ending supply of campaign money for us. Bob Jacobs, Zena Hartung, and Jim Lazor will be rich, and we'll have the power. It's so beautiful. Why do those stupid voters have to keep screwing things up? Don't they know I'm Sandra Romero? I am the law. Who is the law? I'm not the law. Don is the law.